Notebook LM is more than just its podcast. You can build a study and learning system here. I'm an experienced designer who builds systems and workflows, and I'm breaking down the most effective study strategies and showing how you could apply them inside Notebook LM. This is when you have zero knowledge on the material. So an idea is to use a brief audio overview before tackling a textbook chapter or attending a lecture. When I was in school, I used to deliberately not read a summary of a textbook before attending a lecture because I didn't want any spoilers. But apparently spoilers are really good for studying. This is called priming, which prepares your brain to hook new information by pre-exposing it to concepts. You could listen to this two-minute summary to build a mental model of the main ideas, which primes your brain so when you read the full text later or when the prof teaches it in a lecture, you're just filling in details rather than building the structure from scratch. So how do they manage it all? Well, that's where metabolism comes in. And if you are a visual learner and studying some complex processes like biological processes or historical timelines, you could generate a video overview. This strategy is called dual coding, which suggests that combining verbal and visual representations enhances memory traces. Notebook LM analyzes your sources and then generates relevant slides and visuals narrated by hosts. You can watch this to visualize abstract concepts. Thousands of years we spread out. This wasn't an overnight thing. And with cities came a new superpower. But Rome wasn't the whole story. This is similar to the first pass wherein you want to see kind of the big picture, and an idea is to generate a mind map. This is called schema construction, which is organizing isolated facts into a coherent web of logic. This visualizes the connections between main topics and subtopics. It allows you to see the hierarchy of information, which is crucial for identifying how all these concepts connect. And another way to see the relationship between data points is to generate infographics. I think this is particularly great when you fact check every part, well, in general, but particularly for this, if AI got it wrong, catching that error is a high level study strategy. This is when you've gone to lectures, read textbook, basically you've consumed the material. And an idea here is to generate a deep dive audio overview and use the interactive mode. This is from my video where I try to learn a history textbook in only 12 hours using Notebook LM. On your commute or during a walk, listen to a deep dive audio overview, because apparently combining study with physical activity is pretty good. Single forager needing a thousand calories to get a thousand. Then use the interactive mode to ask lots and lots of why questions. This is called elaborative interrogation. Food surplus led to social hierarchy. I don't understand why. Better land produced more surplus as others. This creates the very first- But how did they acquire wealth if it was egalitarian before? Initially, the first people to acquire wealth were the most successful farmers. Yes, those right. who had Everybody. better land or better tech- Next idea is to use reports and select the study guide mode. This generates a short answer quiz, suggested essay questions, and glossary of key terms. Here, you can attempt to explain a concept, and a guide has the answers ready. This forces generative processing. Another idea is to use deep research within Notebook LM to see how topic applies to the real world. So application is the ultimate goal of studying. So this is one step closer to that because you get to see how knowledge is applied in new contexts. Plus, motivation increases when students see the value or relevance of the material. Connecting a dry theory to a current event or real-world application creates an anchor in your brain. It transforms the concept from something to memorize into a tool to understand the world, drastically improving retention. This is the hardest phase. This is the most uncomfortable phase, which is how it's supposed to be. Because active recall, which is the act of testing yourself, is the most effective study technique. So an idea is to generate flashcards.
Right now, Notebook LM doesn't have any spaced repetition system, so you can export this as CSV into an app that has one. Another idea is to use a quiz feature to generate a test based on all sources simultaneously. This forces your brain to identify which strategy to apply rather than just mechanically solving the same type of problem repeatedly. The last idea is to generate slides because the ultimate test of mastery is the prodigy effect, the idea that you learn faster when you intend to teach. And ideally, you don't just look at them. You actually present these slides to your friends or an empty room. And if you stumble on a slide, that's a gap in your knowledge, so you can go back and review that part. 